Little People, Big Dreams, Yvonne Goolagong. Written by Maria Isabel Sanchez Vergara. Illustrated by Lisa Kostrek. Little Yvonne grew up on a hot, dusty farm in Australia. She was the third of eight children, all of them descendants of the Wiradjuri people, who had lived on the land for more than 60,000 years. Yvonne's family was very poor and couldn't afford to buy her many toys. But one day, under the wheel of her father's car, Yvonne found the most amazing treasure, an old tennis ball. She loved that tennis ball so much, her father made her a wooden racket to hit it with. It didn't look like the real thing, but I can start with anything, Yvonne thought. One evening, she discovered a story about a young female tennis player who went to a place in England called Wimbledon and won on its magical centre court. She went to bed dreaming about that girl. But taking part in a world-class tennis tournament felt like a fairy tale to a little Indigenous girl. Yvonne was not allowed to join a tennis club and had to watch the games through the fence, memorising everything the coach said. Yvonne went to the club day after day. Finally, the club's manager noticed her. He gave her the keys so that she could teach herself how to play when all the kids were gone. And she did. A tennis coach called Vic Edwards heard about a young girl who could play faster than any other new talent. He asked Yvonne to move to Sydney. There, she lived with his family and trained to become a professional player. The day she left home, her mother gave Yvonne a tennis dress made of bed sheets and some very good advice. Do not worry about winning or losing. Just play your best and have a lovely time. It became Yvonne's secret weapon. She didn't think winning was everything and losing was a disaster. Every time she hit the court, she enjoyed her matches and looked forward to the next point. Shot after shot, Yvonne made it into all the major tournaments, playing in Sydney, Paris and New York. One day, she was in Wimbledon. She won the tournament and became number one in the world. She had to wait nine years until she won Wimbledon again. That day, there was a very special guest watching her from the stands, her daughter, Callie. Yvonne became the first mother to win the tournament in more than 60 years. When she retired, Yvonne kept inspiring the next generation of Australian tennis players, helping young Indigenous children make it onto the court. And this is how little Yvonne became the most graceful player the world has ever met, a living legend who breaks barriers every time she hits the ball. Yvonne Faye Goolagong was born on July 31st, 1951, to Wiradjuri people in Bar Allen, a small town in New South Wales, Australia. Yvonne is an Indigenous Australian, meaning that she is a descendant of Australia's first people who have lived on the land for more than 60,000 years. When Yvonne was a little girl, Indigenous Australians were treated very poorly by white people who did not recognise their heritage. They were also not allowed to enjoy many everyday things that white people did, like playing tennis. Luckily, the owner of a local club ignored this rule, and it was a good thing he did. Yvonne was faster than any other child her age, and she had an amazing ability to judge a tennis ball's speed and bounce. Yvonne's biggest dream was to play on Wimbledon Centre Court. In 1956, her dream became reality when she was spotted by professional tennis coach Vic Edwards. He had heard about Yvonne's skill and, she, and suggested she move to Sydney to train and become professional. Within months, she was junior Australian champion and age 20, she bet fellow Australian Margaret Court in Wimbledon, becoming the number one player in the world. Yvonne went on to win 92 tournaments, including Wimbledon and the Australian Open. Understanding that your dreams when you are little are the force that keeps you going, Yvonne now helps hundreds of young Indigenous athletes find their way on and off the tennis court.